Yesterday uh, was our first day and uh, our training was uh, based on uh, um, what we want to do defensively, um, r the roles that we play, you know, as a, as a, a player, uh, um, as a team, how we want to look like. Um, and basically looking at, uh, you know, uh, each player's, uh, you know, uh, state at this time. Uh, since uh, we're just you know coming in together uh, it was a good practice uh, today even better uh, now trying to look at uh, um, chemistry you know the team uh, putting in more reps in uh, our shooting uh, just basically trying to get you know everyone um, uh, ready every time we we add in a uh, uh, players in the team they add competitiveness you know uh, with the players um, and um, obviously uh, players that we get in you know add something to the team um, so this this time around we have three players uh, who have not played with us before uh, I'm uh, very sure they're all excited to be here and um, uh, you know, looking forward, you know, what they're going to give us. Um, we carefully chose them uh, to come in the team. Uh, some of them, uh, I mean, uh, they're young and, uh, you know, looking at this team moving forward, I think we have a very good, you know, future about this team. The goal is to qualify for Afro Basket, and that has always been ever since we started this campaign uh, in November. Um, we didn't do that in uh, February because of uh, what happened, uh, but we're excited about uh, the opportunity that uh, you know, we have you know, ahead, of, uh, ahead of us, uh, especially next week. Um, again, uh, the everyone knows the players, the you know, coaches, um, management, that our goal is to qualify for Afro Basket, and uh, that hasn't changed, so we, we really need this one one win for us to qualify. Uh, my name is Tony Drilleva. I'm a point guard, shooting guard on the Silverbacks national team. We have, we have a very 
special group of players this time around, a uh, couple of young players. And um, it's exciting because most of them are very dynamic, very versatile players. You know, they are players that can fit in maybe two or three roles each, you know, which, uh, which gives us a very good advantage uh, with regard to rotations and uh, I think uh, overall better gameplay. Uh, the camp has been nice uh, so far. We've had a short time together, but uh, the team has done really well, uh, especially on the floor, uh, considering how limited the time we've had so far has been. Uh, the new players have been able to really get on board very quick, which has uh, helped us to cover a lot of ground uh, in the short amount of time we've had. We shall continue to prepare. Uh, we'll have maybe two or three days extra in Morocco uh, to put in some hours in the gym. And uh, the main focus this time is to be better defensively. Um, so, and a lot of our practice has been defense oriented. So the expectation should be a really tight defensive effort from the team uh, when we play the game against Morocco. Well, for everyone out there that's uh, supporting us, uh, please continue. Um, in all ways, I know there's a lot that's gone into getting the team here. Uh, and in preparation for this game against Morocco, we really appreciate uh, all the work that's been put in behind closed doors that we do not know about. And we appreciate all the fans that wish us well and uh, that pray for us. Uh, my name is Kiran Ziwa, uh, born and raised in Winnipeg. My father is from Kampala, Uganda, born there. Uh, grew up playing basketball in Winnipeg my whole life been playing now for roughly 14 to 15 years and so the first time I heard about the national team was just over a year ago uh, Albert had reached out to me via Twitter and we had been in talks about potentially joining the team one day and being able to represent Uganda uh, yeah so I heard about the qualifiers in February uh, back in around February January time and I was planning to hopefully come and join the team out there but passport stuff and things didn't work out so that happened and then coach George had called me a couple weeks ago and offered me to come out for this opportunity and I told him absolutely I'd be down for it. Oh uh, yeah so I've met all the guys mostly I know there's still two guys missing Robinson and Ish but I've met all the players now and it's just a great group of guys great humble guys very inclusive very fun friendly uh, getting along well only had a couple practices to mesh together, but everything is coming along smooth and I'm really excited for what we can do. And so this group of guys is very talented, very hardworking, and there's just a lot of good energy around the guys that gives positive energy for us. And I feel like that is gonna be a big factor for us when we step into Morocco, knowing that it's their home base and their home crowd. So just being able to unite one together and come together is gonna be a big thing. Uh, to the fans back home in Kampala, I'd like to say hello, hi, thank you. And uh, it's an honor, it's a privilege to put on this jersey and represent you guys. And every day I work hard, we all work hard in, in order in hopes of making you guys proud. Hello, I'm a member of the Rockville. I'm a member of the camp. I'm a member of the Kumi. I'm a member of the Kumi. I'm a member of the Kumi. Uh, na ye bintu bitu waka kola, you know, um, tu mind tu tatu nana kwenye nji za kutraininga uh, nga team. So, e bintu uh, bie, tu, bie tu planning, bie tu kola nga uh, coaching staff, uh, kugeza koku lava nti vulio mua bela um, peje munti tusobo lo okumanya ganya nga tuzanya. Uh, Echirunje chisinga, chisinga nti Ni wangkwa yu chine na kumtono ni ya wazanya wa singa wano uh, Bali wazanyeko wana mabegao uh, Nature and nti baba de wazanya muligiza we uh, So uh, chetuko za kukeza kwa kola nga uh, coaching staff nti Tutukule ita wazanya wa kuzanya Nga wajina echigendo ya chimu Atenga no kwe tegira na kwa ku Kuyambanyo. So, um, training yeah, gulo, ni alero, uh, mintu wena mintu wena wetu kola, uh, mintu wetu wagala wakole mungemu. Uh, 
so those that you know tuna malira na kuzino nga tuna kuzanya game ya moroko tuja kuba tu tuina wetu tu seko nga wazanyi nga team tu tiba sanyi fokufuna you know okuwe la mbele eno tino muzanya okuchikile guangali ya mwe so wazanyi bachi manyi tuna chintu cha you know cha manyi nyo Of course, in basketball, I try to play with my team. I 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 play with my team. Tuzani ya bulunji, okupa kumundi ya guwaso, kapaka nogo gwadako, 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 gwadako vili. So ndoza ntinuwe, tina batu wangu de game eno. Tujia kudaye waka, tuetaike bulunji. Lawe ntino, tuna mendi, tujiza nina dala bulunji nyo. Abdi Hakim Mohamed Gedi. Okay, I grew up in Uganda. I went to Kapala Parents Primary School from... Pre-primary all the way till P7, get finished. Uh, then I went to Green Hill Academy for uh, S1, S2. And then uh, I moved to Minnesota. And then I've been living there for the past uh, couple of years, since 2012. Uh, I went to university in Iowa, played there. And then uh, my second year of college, I played at uh, Wayland Baptist University in Texas. And uh, I just graduated from the University of Minnesota. I started playing, uh, I'd like to say, in my sophomore, junior year of high school. So that's like, what, S4? S3? That's when I started. Yeah, 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 around that age. That's when I started. I played a little in Uganda, but nothing serious. I went to iHoops Academy. Yeah. Yeah, a product of iHoops. 2018 in the summer, I went to a camp but, uh, and, and played in the camp, but I wasn't ready. But then I decided that I wanted to work harder and join the team, so I've been working hard since. And then now I got the call up, so I'm happy about that. I feel good. I feel proud of myself. It's a good group of guys, like uh, on and off the court. They're really talented, great on the court, hardworking. Then off the court, you know, everybody's friends. It's good vibes. You know, everybody's happy. So it's fun being around them.